Are you ready to learn, explore, discover, and have fun while watching? Come and join us as we bring you more learnings and ideas to share. I'm Teacher Kalai and welcome to my channel. Hi there! For today's topic, we are going to discuss about describing forms and conventions of health. But before that, let us try to answer this first activity. You are going to identify what form is depicted on the following films. Choose your answer from the given choices and write it on a separate sheet of paper. Are you ready? So let's start. The choices are action, drama, horror, comedy, epics or historical, war, crime and gangster, musical dance, fantasy, adventure, and science fiction. The first film is Ang Provinciano. Second, Once Upon a Time. Third, Mr. B. Fourth, General Luna. And the last one is 2012 Ice Age. Now, did you get it correctly? How is your score? Good job! Then let's proceed to the next activity. Let us study the pictures, then answer the questions that follow. You can share your answers to your class. The first question is, What have you noticed with pictures A and B in terms of lighting? Who are the characters in pictures A and B? What do you think is the setting in pictures A and B? What is the atmosphere or the mood created in picture A and B? Lastly, where is the setup of picture A and B? Now let me ask you, what is your favorite film? What do you usually enjoy in watching films? By the way, when we say film, it is also called a movie or motion picture. It consists of moving pictures that have been recorded so that they can be shown at the cinemas or on television. A film tells a story or shows a real situation, and the process of filmmaking is both an art and industry. Remember, there are different forms of films such as action, adventure, comedy, crime and gangster, dramas, Ethics and historical, horror, musical and dance, science fiction, war, and fantasy. In order to communicate key messages to an audience, producers usually use certain conventions and devices, 
such as lights, blocking, direction, characterization, acting, dialogue, setting, and setup. Now let's begin with the light. When we say light, it is a convention of film used to create a specific atmosphere. It is a very important aspect for shaping meaning in films. It can manipulate the viewer's attitude towards a setting or a character. Next is blocking. Blocking is simply the relationship of the camera to the actors. Essentially, it is the physical movement of the actors relative to the position of camera. Third, we have direction. Direction is a process of making sure that every component of a movie runs smoothly. Fourth, characterization. Characterization is a process by which the writer reveals the personality of the character. Characterization is revealed through direct characterization or indirect characterization. Fifth, an acting. An acting affects the way an audience responds. This includes facial expression, body language, and delivery of lines. Next is dialogue. Dialogue is the exchange of spoken words between two or more characters in the film or moving pictures. Seventh is setting. Setting is both time and geographic location within a film or within a work of film. Lastly, a setup is also called set design. It refers to the creation of a scenery that depicts the look or physical appearance of the set or a film. It is often structured or built in studios, or it can also be outside locations. Now once again, the different conventions used in film are light, blocking, directions, characterization, acting, dialogue, setting, and settle. At this time, let us see how well you understood the lesson. You are going to identify what form is depicted on the following films. Again, Choose your answer from the box and write it on a separate sheet of paper. The choices are action, drama, horror, comedy, ethics or historical, war, crime and gangster, musical or dance, fantasy, adventure, and science fiction. Now let's begin with number one. The first is Halloween. Next is Men in Black. Third, American Sniper. Fourth, Avatar. And fifth, Titanic. Now count the number of check and see how well you understood. If you got it right, then congratulations, you did it well. And that ends our discussion for this topic. I'm Teacher Kalai. Please do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more updated videos and learnings on my channel.